Hi, it's Miss Maguire, and today I'm going to show you how to make a graph using Excel. Being able to use Excel is an important skill because if you know how to use Excel, you can use a lot of the other programs like Google Spreadsheets and some of the Apple products and so forth. Uh, to make a graph in Excel is also really important because it makes really nice looking graphs, and once you know how to do it, it's really fast. You don't have to worry about spacing and intervals and things because the computer will do it for you. So the first thing you need to do is, of course, tell the computer what the data is. So we're going to pretend that we have taken measurements of population size of a particular bird. So let's say that I made measurements every year. And I'm going to put my type of bird in another column. And you don't need to put headings on them because the computer doesn't really care. But it's nice to do it so you can keep track of your data. So I don't like the way that it's spaced out like this. So I'm going to click, click on my cell. Go over to Format, and then I'm just going to do Auto Auto Fit Column. By the way, I'm using uh, I think Excel 2007. Not all programs look like this, but they're pretty similar. So let's say I started recording my data in the year 2000. So I don't have to type every single one, which gets a little tedious. I'm just going to highlight this data that I started typing and scroll down to 2012, which is the year that I made this recording. And that filled it in automatically. And then I'm going to put in some fiction, uh, fictitious data. And I already entered that, so I just did add another sheet. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you need to be able to tell the computer to make a graph. So you want to highlight the data you want it to plot. And the way that I'm highlighting in here is, oops, this is my x value, and this is my y value. Now. To do that on this version of Excel, you need to go over to Insert, and they've got these different types of charts. They call the graphs charts here. You think you want to use the line version because that's what the kind of chart is most appropriate for this data. I've got two sets of numbers, but for some reason, Excel calls that kind of data a scatter chart. So we're going to click on Scatter, and I like to have the, the data points plotted out. And in this case, I want it to make a nice smooth line as opposed to a zigzaggy line. So I'm going to choose this button. And my graph is basically made. But now I've got to format some things. So one thing I want to format is this particular uh, graph only has one set of data, so I don't need some of this information. So I'm going to go up here on my chart tools, and this is what's going to help me edit everything. And so I want to go to, by the way, I like purple better, so I'm going to choose that. And then I want to go to layout, and I'd like to add in some grid lines. So I like to add in some vertical ones because there aren't any yet. And I'm going to do, let's see what minor ones look like. That's kind of a lot. So let's check and see what major ones are. That's better. By the way, you can edit that so that it doesn't, you can have it as big as you want. But the automatic settings are easy to do. Then for legend, that's, that's this thing over here. I don't need that because I only have one set of data. So I'm going to say no. And then I need to put in my chart title. And I'd like it chart. Oh, I don't want overlay. I'd like it to be above the chart. And I'm going to say that this is the population. And I need to use proper spelling and grammar and whatnot. Population of red bellied woodpeckers in, let's say I took this data in Ozaki County. Okay, and then I need to have axis titles. So my primary axis title, I'd like to have that for the horizontal below it. Of course, that's going to be year. Oops. And then I need to have axis title for my vertical data. And that's going to be, let's make that um, number of individuals. And I don't really like the way that's spaced, so I'm going to put my mouse over it, click on it, and drag it up. And now I've got a graph. Looks pretty good. In my next podcast, I'll show you how to make a graph with two different sets of data points.